Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk through uh, five bourbons or rise. Some people like to... One rye. Some people like to really make a specify. Oh, some people are going to get real technical and say uh, these are two bourbons, two whiskeys, and one rye. So... We're just but for the thumbnail, it's going to say new bourbons. Yeah. <laughs> so just as you're watching this, know that we know the difference between a rye, a whiskey, and a bourbon. We just make it easy by saying bourbon. So uh, that's just what we're going to do. So we're we're uh, there's some releases coming out that we're going to be hunting for. So yeah, these are brand new. Like this isn't um, you know these these are going to be brand new bottles. Uh, you know some of them might be I don't know, what would you say distant cousins of some other ones. Yeah. Uh, but these are going to be brand new releases for this year. So this isn't going to be like the new like Pappy 23 or something. You know, these are going to be brand new bottles that we're looking forward to. And obviously we don't have any of them. No. We so don't. we'll have we'll have some pretty pictures. And <laughs> this stuff will up. be one of the only videos we probably ever do where we don't have <laughs> some sort of them? bottles showing yeah. anywhere in our. In, yeah. Or that we're not drinking True. something in front of us either. So. So to start out with. Um, and some of these, I'm, I feel confident that we're going to get. Yes. Like, I, I do yeah. feel confident. There's one on here I'm going to talk about that I don't know if we're going to get or not. But the rest of them, honestly, I feel kind of confident yeah. we can get them. Yeah. So the first one we're going to talk about today is the new release from Castle and Key Small Batch Bourbon. Now, this is going to be a brand new release, the first bourbon release from Castle and Key, which used to be the old E.H. Taylor Distillery in Kentucky. Uh, they actually have two small batches coming out. The first one's going to be a four-year, 98 proof. Uh, and I think they're both going to be around $50, if I'm correct. I would say probably. I so. think that's, that's what I read, sounds, which is right. a fantastic price yes. for that. Because there's a lot of four-year bourbon that's over 100 bucks right now. And I'm just like, how? And then the second one is going to be a four-year-old at 99 proof. And what's crazy is that release should be coming out. This video will come out on Thursday. should be coming out like that weekend. Yeah. At Castle and Key. At Castle so if you have the opportunity, it has a beautiful label. We have no clue about how any of these are going to taste, by the way. So, like, we're guessing here. Like, no. I've seen notes that people have put out there, and I'm like, I'm not going to give you notes because I don't know what anything tastes like or whatever. But I've had their rye, and I really enjoyed their rye. I thought their rye was really yeah. solid. And I, I thought just, it was, too. You know, you're starting to see some stuff that's sourced from Castle and Key that's kind of been pretty decent to good. Yeah. So... To me, it's just, it's kind of cool. It's also new. You know, kind of excited. Yeah. So uh, Number two on this list, uh, and some of you will be excited about it because I think some of you really liked the Jack Daniels 10-year. Yeah. Uh, and we were, I thought it was overpriced for what it was. I, I don't, did you, I, I think we both kind of felt like it was maybe a little bit overpriced it, for what it was. Well, we thought it was overpriced for what the secondary was trying to pay for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, maybe that's what, what it was. It was. Maybe the it was. price, honestly, retail wasn't bad, but yeah. it was, you know. You, you couldn't get it. You couldn't get it. Yeah. And chances are it's going to be the same thing with this. We may, yeah. we'll, we'll get our hands on one and then they'll I'll be gone. And be like, the last one. <laughs> you know, yeah. it'd be lucky to find it. But this is going to be uh, Jack Daniels 12 year, which follows the 10 year release. Mm -hmm. um, the label on it tells us that it's going to be a, a 700 milliliter release, which is a little different than your normal 750. Well, um, to me, it, and I already know people are going to be in the comments saying this. There's a lot of things in the comments y'all can put, but let me help you on this one. There was a law passed to where now we can start in America, I guess, start selling these 700 milliliters. Okay. That's just not at like the airport. Like, yeah. I guess if they wanted to sell them at your local grocery store or whatever, because I guess at some point in time there was a law where you could. Uh, I think you're, I, I think I vaguely remember. I don't that. know yeah. why, but anyway, so. So. Uh, anyway, it's it can be a 700. Uh, the the proof is up from what the 10 year was, which I think both of us agree that mm -hmm. if this if the 10 year had a little bit higher proof, I think it may have made it a little bit better. And so it's instead of uh, the 10 year was 97.5, the 12 year is going to be a 107 proof. So yeah. that I mean that it does take it up a, a little notch, and it and they're calling it batch one. So. Take that for what it's worth. Yeah, I mean, when, they, when people say batch one, they have a tendency to going to be following that up with batch two. Yeah. So you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see how that goes. Maybe if it goes really well, um, that's that's their their plan. That's true. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Number three on our list, and this is a brand that we just honestly just don't give a whole lot of love to or talk yeah. about a lot. Yeah. Not that we have anything against them. We just we just don't. 
but to me, Knob Creek, 18 year old. Now, whenever I first saw this, I was like, 18 years old? Like, how? I'm like, well, there went all your single barrel picks, yeah. all those 15 year old single barrel picks. That's where a lot of them went. And so, you know, the more you kind of like look into it, it looks like, it almost looks like the exact same label as 15 year. It's going to be 100 proof. And outside of maybe like some Booker releases, like specialty releases, this is going to be one of the oldest bourbons that Jim Beam's put out. And and whenever I'm saying like like those Booker, like we all know like those super special releases that they've done. But outside of that, like I like I don't I don't know of anything. Yeah, I don't know of anything <clears throat> else that would be close to it because like you know now you're starting getting to the ultra super age kind of stuff like you know your Elijah Craig eighteen year old and stuff like that to where like eighteen year. I mean that's that's a long time in the barrel. So that's yeah. a that's you know there's a lot of art and you know craft honestly so to get true. that right. Yeah. So I am kind of looking forward to it. And it may it. not be right. We may Well, you, that's true. You it may might get not it. Be, but I am looking forward to it. And the yeah, good thing is about Knob Creek is is like they always make so much to where it's available. Yeah. And I it's don't usually know, pretty affordable. You know, usually ish. I mean 18 years that's going to be that's going to be trying to change. But you're paying for something that says 18 years. Yeah. Eight, 18 that is years. true. Like that is what it is, and I don't I don't necessarily hate that because I know what we're what we're getting into, but yeah, it is still kind of cool. Yeah, so. super cool. Uh, number four on this list, and I think uh, this one might be the one I'm most excited about. Uh, yeah, probably. It's the Jack Daniels Coy Hill Small Batch. Uh, they're gonna do five small batches, and they're all hey, listen. This is what I love. <laughs> Brown Foreman buys Jack Daniels, and they they make them conform to their their bidding. Oh yeah, well <laughs> they're gonna do them. They're they're gonna come in three seven fives. So all you people who hate three seven fives, <laughs> like uh, the old Forester Angel Angels, uh, I mean the High Angel Share, the the uh, very old nineteen ten, all those things that one seventeen series come in three seven five. Yeah, well, they it is. they yeah. already do the Tennessee tasters that they do the releases from the distillery. Yeah, so they you know they they've been doing this. I here's what's funny: we've been kind of talking about this off and on for a long time. I know you and I have about how I'm surprised that more distilleries don't do more three seven five. I, I, I totally I totally agree. With like you. it just gets more out there for people, and we I, I know we, I know people hate that hate yeah. hearing that, but it's it spreads the love. <laughs> and and listen. Brown Foreman loves to spread the love because they love the 375 release. Give That's them their true. Woodford, give them their Old Forester, yeah. and now bring Jack Daniels Coy Hill right into the mix, and it's going to be great. Tell them the best part about this. Oh, the best part is these batches are going to come in starting at a whopping 150 proof. So That's a heater. The the label that, I, that I'm guessing we'll probably put up there, the TBB label or whatever that's called, I think that one's showing like 155 proof. Woo! Like, they're going to be warm, folks. Yeah. Like, if you think, you know, like, if if you're wanting to drink this on a cold night, this might be the... Uh, might the be the drink. one. Yeah. So, and now the last one. And, you know, this is my favorite of the group. This is the one I have been... I'm already trying to figure out how I'm going to build enough in the arsenal to trade. Because I want one of these so incredibly bad. It is the release. I of, want him to get one so that I can taste it this bad. Yeah, you know, yeah. I want to get the E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof Rye. Mm. Whenever they said that they were coming out for that, now you see, I got super excited at first because a, I just I've been saying for a long time, E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof Rye just needs to happen. Like it just it makes sense. But the two things that got me really excited was a. On the label, now this could be just a placeholder, so we don't know, but showing 130 proof, okay? So I was kind of like, eh, you know, like hopefully that proof stays because that's a nice proof and everything else. And it's Buffalo Trace in the sense of they don't really have anything like this. So it's going to be, you know, most of their releases are pretty solid, which yeah. I'm excited about. Now, the more I started reading on this, what a lot of people are saying is this is going to be like the equivalent of like Warehouse C. To where it's gonna be a one-time release, and now these are gonna be super expensive, and I'm probably not gonna get one. But my hope and dream is is that this is gonna be more of like the H. Taylor Barrel Proof kind of release, and to where not only they're annual, but I can just get my hands on one. Yeah, that would be the better. That would be the best, honestly, for but, everybody. But, but you know, Buffalo Trace, they like to do their thing. Well, you know, it is what it is. It is. But it is. 
for sure. You know, there there's a bunch of them that we could have added to this list, but I think yeah. I think these five are yeah. through and through just super solid. And like I said, I don't I don't know if we'll be able to get all five, but it'd be kind of awesome. We're gonna try. Yeah. We're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna try. As always, hey, listen, uh, leave us some comments and let us know like what you're looking forward to because. Maybe we'll add it to our list of things that we want to find and buy yeah. and try and all that good stuff. And so uh, we we love the input for that. So No doubt. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, have, have we told them to like, share, comment? Yeah, do all of that. Uh, you know, <laughs> subscribe. Did we do, subscribe? Yeah, subscribe too. I mean, it's all good. Um, sure. So uh, until the next time, we'll see you. See you.